Well, I'm sweaty red. You're sweaty just red? Sweaty red, which is like absolutely red and disgusting. Well, it's time to get this day started because we are gonna do a full day of eating and we have to build the chicken coop. What's up, family? I'm Rachel. And I'm Joe. And we are Two, Two Crazy, Crazy Ketos. Ketos. If you're new to our channel, welcome. Here on Two Crazy Ketos, we do different things like recipe videos, we do product reviews, we talk about various keto topics, and then every Monday, we sit down on the couch for Keto on the Couch. We just kind of talk about what's going on in our lives for the week. You can find us in different social media platforms like Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And we have a website, which is twocrazyketos.com. That's where you're going to find all of our different recipes. Now, we do upload at least five new videos every single week, so make sure you subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to hit the little bell icon, and that way every single time we upload a new video, you'll be alerted to it. Allergies. Allergies. So, of course, on the day that I need to go outside and build the shed, like, I haven't had an allergy attack in, I don't know, a couple of months. It's been a while. And, yeah, I'm having an allergy attack. So, it's going to be fun going to Lowe's and stuff to, like, get all of the lumber because everyone's going to think I, like, have COVID or something. <laughs> Timed perfectly for that. And I am on my third batch of getting my steps in this okay. morning because it keeps raining and sending me back inside. But I am determined. I am absolutely determined to get the steps in today. So I'm gonna head to Lowe's. Need to get like all of the different wood and we're gonna at least get the frame and everything. I'm still trying to decide how I wanna do the roof exactly, but we're gonna get the frame and everything up today. Probably finish up at least the main building tomorrow. You probably won't have an outside outside run, but those chickens are getting out there even without a run because they're getting big. Are you guys ready for a new home? Look at them all. They're just sitting here. They're huge. Look at the size of these chickens. Well, looks like uh, the chicken coop is on hold. We started. But then this happened. Okay, I'm being very intentional about getting my steps in this week. So I needed to come to Lowe's. I wanted to check and see, do they carry inexpensive linoleum because I wanna line the chicken coop with it just to make things easier to clean up, you know, on a daily basis. So I parked my vehicle two and a half miles away from this place and walked over here. So I'm gonna have to go back and get my vehicle. So that means I'm going to have to walk the other half of my two and a half mile walk in order to get back to my car. So I gotta do what I gotta do in order to make me get my steps in and that is my hack for the day. So it stopped raining, it's still kind of nasty out. So Anthony and I started, so we're gonna keep going and see how we go. This is where we're at so far. Of course, now we're doing like all of the cutting on the patio just in case because I don't want to ruin this saw. This is an awesome saw and it doesn't even have to plug in. It runs on batteries. My luck, since Grayson is outside, he's probably gonna learn how to do the saw noises or something like that, or maybe the drill, or maybe yell, oh crap, when I do something wrong. So it is, my watch won't turn on. What time is it? What time is it? It is 7.15. So it's 7.15. We haven't eaten yet except for we each had a bag of... I had a bag of cereal school or schoolyard snacks, hot Cheetos. So it's time to eat at 7.15. Yes, it is time to eat. You want to come see what it looks like so far? Yes, if we can eat on the way to see it. So not too bad considering wow. like we had a half a day, of, more than a half a day of rain. I like it. So this is what we got so far. So... This is all gonna be just open air behind wire. Right. That This whole section there, that'll be the whole chicken like inside coop. And then there's gonna be a big door here for you to clean inside. Oh goody. And then a little door over there for them to get out. And then they can obviously go underneath. And then over here, this will be a set of nesting boxes. So it'll be nesting boxes with a window that opens here from one side to the other, but it'll have like chicken wire over it. Nice. So, not too bad. So no. it's four foot wide, and then the coop it's part itself is six foot, and then this part is another six foot. And you know they're gonna be spending a lot of time outside with mommy too. 
Plus, yeah, plus they'll obviously be out here. Well, probably this is going to get us started. Then we'll probably add like another outdoor play area like over here. But to start with, this is what we're going to start with. Okay, it's dinner time. I got a lot done, especially considering it was pouring rain. You are still red. Uh, the red is my allergies. Like, I'm actually glad I was wearing that full, like, you know, gator mask because inside of, like, Lowe's, people would scary? freak out if they could see my whole face being all red. But because it's like this, I can hide the fact that my eyes are burning. Nothing's going on under here. No. But, yeah. But we got a lot done. I mean, we had two horrible downpours. But we got videos up. We got the stuff for, for church done. I got You got cleaning done. I got my cleaning done. I got two rounds of shipping done. And after, I don't even know how many attempts to get my steps in, I got 12,187 steps in. Awesome. I am like super You're proud killing of it. Well, it's like, let's just do it. Right. No matter what. So the only thing we've eaten today was we each had a bag of the... Schoolyard snacks. I want to call it cereal school every time. I know. We had a bag of the school. Well, Rachel had one bag of the hot Cheetos. I had one of the hot and then one of the uh, regular cheddar one, but I have a higher protein goal. Here is dinner. And uh, we're in the middle of a special like test on testing out something on ourselves. So we're only eating this and then we're going to have another keto chow protein shake later on today. But what we got is a half a pound of 8515 ground beef plus a can of the Kirkland shredded chicken brass. Mine's almost a can. Almost a can. A couple tablespoons of sour cream, a, a tablespoon of salsa, some cheese, a couple of fried eggs. Lego my ego. And crust protein chips. We are going to eat our dinner and then we're going to continue this vlog tomorrow. Wow. Okay, change of plans. It's a little dark in here. That looks amazing. I refigured our macros, so I made keto chow ice cream chocolate toffee, uh, but it is a half a serving of our yogurt as the fat and then mm. 10 ounces of almond milk. Wow. So not quite as fatty, but enough to be able to make ice cream. Good. Oh, look at these two. Yeah, Charity and Tabitha sleeping together. What are you guys doing? Are you enjoying yourself on your chair? As soon as Rachel gets up out of the chair, Tabitha jumps into it. All right, guys. On a scale of one to 10, one being meh, I could care either way, and 10 being I'm super excited. How excited are you that daddy is working on your brand new coop? I know that Bessie's excited, but Bessie's excited about everything. Zilla, what are your thoughts? Are you excited that you're gonna get a new place? We're so excited. I would say Bessie's at a 10 right now. Hannah's like at a five. I don't think she realizes how much more room for activities that she's gonna have. It's gonna be awesome. And then Naomi just wants to make sure that we will still have like mommy daughter time and that, um, you know, if I need to tuck her in, I can do that. Okay, so Bessie, tell me, what are your thoughts? What do you think it's gonna look like? It's gonna be so different. You won't be able to do shipping with mommy every day, but I still think that you're gonna love it. So Anthony and I woke up this morning nice and early, started working on the chicken coop. This is how far we got. We got the sides up, the back up. We made the door and uh, we're ready to do the roof. And unfortunately now it's 11.30 and it is pouring rain. So we're probably done for the day. Um, Rachel and I are gonna have like a date afternoon and we still have to film keto on the couch. So I managed to finish off an entire pot of coffee during the two church services today. All I know is I, you asked me to make a pot of coffee. Yes. I made a pot of coffee. Mm -hmm. I went to get a cup of coffee. None to be had. And it's all gone. I finished it. I did drink so, the majority of it black. Now I have to drink Hint. Hint, Hint. Make some more coffee. <laughs> um, I did have one serving of what I want to call the vegetable creamer. It is not vegetable. It is the plant-based 
the plant-based Kaitu, the French vanilla. We did a review of it. I will leave a link for that over Rachel's head in the cards if you haven't seen it. Props for, for one serving of that because I could have drank it in every single cup because okay. I think it's very tasty. Yep. But I think that drinking a bunch of caffeine was making me hungry. Like maybe slow down on the caffeine and you won't be so hungry for, for stuff, Rachel. Could be. So it's Sunday morning. Uh, Anthony and I got up bright and early. We were working on the uh, chicken coop. Rained on your parade, though. We got the sides done. We got the door done. We're re we were debating back and forth. Should we put a metal roof or a shingle roof? We've decided we're just going to put a shingle roof, probably because I have some shingles somewhere. I don't know where, but I'm pretty sure I have shingles somewhere, so that'll save us some money. Shingle bells, shingle bells. <laughs> but... It's now pouring out, so we're going to move this into probably a three-day vlog so that you guys can see us finish it. Yeah. In the meantime, you're going on your date to the store with Anthony, right? I am. And then you're getting home and we're having a date day or a date afternoon. After we film Keto, Keto on, on the, the Couch. couch. So you go to the store. I've got a couple things I need to do. Okay, we just finished our live stream. We filmed Keto on the Couch. Rachel went on a date. It rained again. It's not raining now, but now Anthony's kind of hanging out with Sarah. So we're going to eat our meal. This is our first meal. It is 5.30, six o'clock almost, right? 5.58. 5.58. We keep looking at the clock and it's different. So, so six o'clock, first meal of the day. We're having Keto carnivore tortillas. These are really good. I've changed up the recipe a little bit. We kind of like inspired by the Strong Sisters. Ground bison, some sour cream cheese, shrimp with taco seasoning on it, a salad, egg whites with Redmond on it, and then we're gonna have a keto chow like ice cream or something later on. Anything else? Let's get to eating. We're gonna finish this vlog tomorrow. So it's a three day vlog because we wanna Finish the chicken coop. Whether the chicken coop is completely done or not, we're gonna finish up this vlog tomorrow. I will not whine or complain. It is the main point for our preschool classes this week. And it is something that I have struggled with my entire life. I am a whiner and complainer from way back. So definitely something that I need to work on. And it is the subject of our vlog today. What is it? that you whine and complain about that you need to stop whining and complaining about. One of them definitely is exercise for me. I don't wanna exercise, I don't wanna have to, I just wanna get out of it. And for a long time, at least for the weight loss itself, you don't really have to exercise a bunch in order to do keto. And I love that about keto. That was a selling point about keto, but you know what? I can move in a way I couldn't move a hundred pounds ago. So instead of whining and complaining about exercising for better tone, for better muscle, for the good feelings that I get when I do exercise and the feeling of pride and accomplishment that I get from exercising, I need to focus on that instead of focusing on the negative and complaining about it. One of the problems I have when I exercise is I want every single thing to be perfect. The weather needs to be perfect. Of course, the temperature needs to be perfect. No rain. Right now it is raining and I need to get my steps in and I need to stop whining and complaining that everything isn't perfect. I should focus on the fact that it isn't blazing hot. It is overcast because of the rain and I can get my steps in and be a little cooler while I do it. Oh my gracious, how adorable. Because I'm on this walk, I get to see this beautiful little owl family. Look at that. We have a baby, look how protective mama is. She's like, get away from my baby, you weirdo. How cute, we've got mommy and baby, and there's daddy over there. How cute are they? See, I need to stop whining and complaining about exercising because I would miss this whole thing if it wasn't for having to get my steps in. Okay, so here is something I absolutely complain about all the time in South Florida. 
it is the iguana population. There are so many of these Godzilla creatures around, and right now we are experiencing a baby boom. They are absolutely everywhere. But on the bright side, they do tend to run away from you. So I should stop whining and complaining that they're here because they could be so much worse. They could run toward us instead of running away from us. Normally, I would whine and complain about the fact that I am home just in time to help unload this truck. But instead of whining and complaining about it, I can focus on the fact that, yay, I get to help alleviate some of my family's burden. That's kind of a good thing. Okay, so just to clarify, I am not a roofer and I can only use what they have in stock at Lowe's because we don't need much and a lot of it is you have to buy big bundles to special order it. So the end caps don't look perfect, but it's the best I can do with what I have available to me. I like how you've prepped me. Okay, so this is it. Obviously we still have to do the uh, nesting boxes on the side and then we have to cover everything with mesh. Wow, I actually think this looks pretty incredible. Yeah, so the ends aren't the greatest here, but that's the best that I can do. I need the end caps and they don't sell them like at Lowe's unless you special order everything. I don't think the chickens are gonna write you a letter of like, upsetness. So we'll have the nesting boxes over here with the wall and then we can do the hardware mesh. Are you starting without me? I can't wait any longer. <laughs> I literally cannot even tell myself like, wait. Okay, it's the third day of this vlog. We did not get the chicken coop done because it keeps raining and more than just the normal 30 minutes rain. Like the skies are opening up by like 11, 30, 12 o'clock. And we can't not finish it. Like they have to have a Oh no, to I mean, we're almost there, but it got dangerous. Like Anthony and I were installing a metal roof in the middle of a lightning storm. Probably not the smartest thing in the no. world. No. So finally, when we heard the lightning detectors going off at the parks around us, we're like, okay, we're okay. done. We came back, we had to go to the store, we got most of it done. All that's left is build the nesting box, which won't take very long, and then put the mesh on, and you have to paint it. I'm Because I don't it. want to paint it. Uh, I would leave it the way it is. <laughs> I can totally paint. So you're gonna paint it. So we'll, be, we'll finish up tomorrow, but we're gonna end up this vlog right now. Here is our first and only meal of the day. We may have enough like room left to split a keto chow later, but we're changing it up lately. Yeah. So this is a bed of lettuce with some ground beef, half a pound of ground beef, some sour cream, salsa, shrimp we got from BJ's. These are like grilling shrimp. They were really good. A nice and butterfly. Eggs, bacon, Quest chips. I'm loving it. So that is all of our food that we've eaten for the last three days while trying to build the chicken coop and eating very late at night. Cause it's 5.30. I feel like it's getting later and later every day. Well, no, the other day it was like 7.30. So we're getting better. Well, that's gonna be the end of our three day vlog of what we eat while building a chicken coop. If you like seeing these full day of eating videos, check out our playlist, which you can find right down there. Also, make sure you check out our most recent video, which you can find by clicking right down there. And either way, make sure you subscribe to our channel. You can do that by hitting right here. Until next time, bye. bye.